Hello guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome to Mexico City again. I'm with Alejandro here and actually we started shooting already because he told me about this flea market and we went there, we also saw a really cool Rolly SL66. Yeah. Damn. Nice camera you will see in the video. Um, and I'm shooting today again the Q2 monochrome but as you might be able to see I got sort of a filter stack going on so I'm shooting a, a Pro Mist and a red filter at the same time. And I can tell you it looks good so so far. So and you're shooting again the M6? Uh, yeah, M6 with the Superior 200. Okay. I'm um, pushing it 400. to 400. Okay. 400. But you finished first before that you finished the roll of uh, P3200. Yeah. So <laughs> it's not perfect for daylight. But in there it was kind of dark, so it was okay. So without further ado, I mean it's really weird now because we already start shooting. But yeah, you get it. Okay. Enjoy the episode. I'll talk to you later. <laughs> oh, oh yes. Hello, Mr. Polar Bear. Let's take a photo of Mr. Polar Bear. Good in winter, you know, it's cold. Just imagine walking around, taking photos like with this on. So you will get the superpower powers of a polar bear. Nobody will nobody will talk to you. People will all be scared. Hi, that guy. It's yeah, it's really easy to focus, right? Yeah. It's beautiful. And it comes with different bags, that's... I used to own this camera for a while. But the downside was it was fairly heavy, so not ideal for traveling. And I did not use it a lot, so that's why I sold it. But it's a great alternative for a Hasselblad, I think. I have no choice, yeah.
We just finished our first uh, round here at the flea market and it was pretty cool. We needed to refuel and now let's try again because I think we've only seen a fraction, right? Yeah, so, yeah there will be plenty more and hopefully plenty more cool characters to shoot. So let's continue shooting. And by the way, I'm shooting, you've probably seen that I'm shooting mostly uh, f1.7 wide open using autofocus. But if it's backlit uh, because of the amount of filters I have in the, on the lens, uh, the camera has pretty much a hard time focusing. Um, so it's not ideal, it can be done, but it's a little bit slower, so... But we'll make this happen, so let's continue. It was so cool just walking around there and seeing all those people having such a great time on a Sunday afternoon. Yeah, that was absolutely great. So far so good. Uh, it's good fun, but it's very tiring because it's, there's so much stuff going on. It's, it's pretty wild. And on top of it, I mean, one thing that I really like is uh, because you have this flea market, then this this regular kind of market. And also, I mean, near to uh, Tepito, which is like a very sketch neighborhood. But And you can see some people you, you don't really know, you know, if they are cool or not. But um, And on top of that, you have film cameras. Like the roll eye, oh my god, that was really good. And also um, the other, like the, the RB67. Yeah. I wasn't expecting to see that. And 5x7 camera. <laughs> and of course, there was the, the polar bear. <laughs> Maybe I should get that. You know, like some uh, Roman uh, legionnaires, they, they were wearing like like these animal skins, you know. Maybe because it brought the demo, or made, made them more powerful. Maybe. I will get a better photographer by wearing that. Maybe I should think about it. So, <laughs> Let me know in the comments if I should uh, pick up the, the polar bear and uh, just wear it in the next episode. <laughs> I'm pretty sure now a lot of people will comment, oh, please get it, please get yeah. it. <laughs> Thanks God, the episode will be online when I'm not here anymore, so sorry. All right, uh, we chill here a little bit and then we will continue hitting the market and maybe getting some more cool shots.
If you want to learn from me in person, join me on a workshop. Uh, the, all the current dates and more info you will find on my website and the link is in the video description. We had no plans to go to directly to Tepito, but for whatever reason we ended up there and it was okay, we had no problems, but you got a lot of looks and um, I mean there were no tourists at all, only locals and even my friend Alejandro, he felt a little uncomfortable walking around there with the camera and there were so many people, so you had to be really careful because I mean it would be easy to steal something, so we decided to leave because, I mean, it's probably not worth it. All right, guys, that's it. Uh, we had good fun uh, and we survived Tepito. So I had no plans to go there, but we survived it. It was not that bad. I mean, you could tell there were some people that you. It was hard to tell if they are like uh, sketchy or not. <laughs> but it was great. I mean, at least people that had good fun and it was yeah. like a party. It felt like a Saturday night on the on a Sunday afternoon. <laughs> Very interesting. I've never experienced something like that. So it was really cool to shoot there. And yeah, I mean, that's it. Um, uh, I'm so empty now because this was drained all my energy walking around the, all the noise and stuff. So, but nevertheless, you know what to do. If you like the episode, give you a video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and check out my zines, you know, because then I can come back here and make more <laughs> crazy videos like this here in uh, Mexico City. And yeah, again, I will link his stuff in the description. Check it out and that's it. Yeah. Okay, there's people coming, we have to hurry up. Okay, see you on the next one. Until then, auf Wiedersehen.